How are you doing? How's everybody today? How are we all doing? Anyway, this is uh, <coughs> this is John with you, as you all know by now, and I'm doing an unboxing. I'm doing going to do an unboxing of a uh, Revell kit, and it's the Revell 1700 scale. Yes, 1700 scale, 700 times uh, smaller than the actual thing. Uh, Battleship Bismarck. Okay, Bismarck's fine big ship, so 700 scale. Big enough, shall we say? Big enough. So, uh, this is a Revell kit. Um, it's kit number 05098. Um, it's from Revell and it's like I said, the battleship Bismarck. Now, it's a side opening box, and I hate side opening boxes. I do, I hate side opening boxes. So, I've uh, discarded the box. And I've reboxed it, and I've reboxed it into um, into a Zvezda box, because if you remember there recently, I did the uh, Kursk, which was a Zvezda floaty thing, sinky, sinky floaty thing, but uh, it fits perfectly into the the Zvezda box, and I'm quite happy with that. So today's unboxing will be a, a reboxing of a, an old boxing of an unboxing of a, a boxing. No. Anyway, right, let's get on with it. Uh, <laughs> we're having a look at what's in the box from this Bismarck. Like, now, I know nothing about ships. I don't know what parts are called. Um, so this is going to be fun. Um, we'll just have a quick look through at the parts. And like I say, when I do an unboxing, all I'm really looking for is the condition of the parts. Do, do they have loads of flash? Flash meaning all that extra little bits of plastic that you gotta go scraping off. Seam lines, there's the seam lines everywhere, you gotta scrape all them off. Um, are there ejector pin marks, right? Or ejector release pin marks, whatever you want to call them. Are they there? And do you have to go filling them in? Because I can imagine on this size, if you gotta go filling them in, they never really fill the best okay you can make a good job of them but nine times out of ten they, they're hard to, to fill in if they're slightly raised you can you can send them off and things like that but an unboxing to me is what are you getting for your money what do you see what do you get inside in the box okay so we'll zoom down to the bench and um I'll, when i say zoom down to the bench i'll move the camera and squeak it around because i still haven't got my editing software back it's all on the laptop and the laptop is uh, on its way back to uh, get repaired it hopefully it can be repaired so let's just change the angle of this down to there all right and as you can see we got our big zvezda box okay so let's go down to me black mat and onto me black mat now and you can be able to see the parts okay so we'll start off we we'll start off with the instructions and like I said I do not know what parts are called so don't expect me to give you you know oh this is such and such a part and this is such and such a part they're all plastic and they're all ship parts okay just have a quick flick through gives us a bit of info on the Bismarck itself um, some what the symbols mean we've got paint call outs we've got um, sprue map and then we're into the construction okay we're putting all the bits and pieces together getting them all on still putting them on with planes and boats and shooty things and more boats more shooty things cranes masts flagpoles this that and the other and there's 48 steps in total okay 48 steps then we got the paint and decal options for the two versions of it it's got baltic sea winter 1940 to 41 and we got baltic sea march 1941 so obviously it, it had a, a bit of a refit or whatever they call it where they uh they kind of 
changed the uh, the appearance of it slightly. They would have got these little stripy lines in it. Okay, so there's the two versions first and two pieces of blank paper. So now let's start looking at the rest of it. So right, we we'll have a quick look at the decals before we go on. Um, and yes, they have been censored. Censored decals. Mm. That's a kind of a discussion in itself. Whether you for it or against it, I don't know. If it's up to you. I'm not going to say anything about them. Uh, these were the swastikas are supposed to be the same here and same on these little flags here. So we've got flags minus the swastika, and we've got some stripy things. We've got those little uh, battle stripes. We call them battle stripes here on the side and uh, some symbols and things okay decals they don't look too bad they don't look too thick and uh, you know what can you say about them they're decals okay <coughs> excuse me very chesty all right let's start looking at the plastic we've got our two sides now if you dry fit these like I have done in the past well, yes, I've done it in the past. <laughs> I did it there a little while ago. I did a kind of a. It was about my third attempt at this video because I don't have my editing software, so the sound wasn't the best, and I was out of focus with half it. And so this is attempt number three, I think, of getting this done right. All right. So there's our. There we go. There's our our our. our tub dry fitted and it fits in together nicely it's not, it's not warped or anything like that so that's going to fit together nice okay no seam lines no jetting marks all that kind of stuff right let me get a stand for it a nice display stand where we can fit marks there for the decals and things so we have, uh, we have something to display it on right we have two of these sprues these are so both identical so we just have a look at one of them and they seem quite nice quite nice indeed like I said what we're looking for we're looking for ejector pin marks we're looking for seam lines and we're looking for flesh all right we do have a seam line here down the center of that but whether that's supposed to be there or not I don't know but we'll find out in due course I shall we say Right, they seem quite nice. Like they're 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 parts. We've got shooty things there, and we've got the uh, shooty turrets, gun turrets. Hey, so that's uh, we've two of those sprues. We've two of these sprues. We'll put one away. We've got some of the lifeboats, savey lifey things. We've got a little um, a little airplane here. Wingy things, fly fly things, as Rachel calls them. We've got propellers, whooshy whooshy things, and <laughs> we've got uh, cranes and things. Okay, so like I said, I don't know what half the other parts are called, but what I'm looking for is I'm looking for flesh and I'm looking for, you know, how good the moulding is and stuff. And they look quite nicely moulded indeed, considering you know, all the little detail that's in there, it looks quite nice, right? Uh, another little small sprue, and we have two of these as well, and it's more. Uh, shooty things and savey lifey floaty things and that kind of stuff and like i said there's a seam line down there but whether that's supposed to be there or not i do not know it looks as if it's supposed to be there so i'll double check that before i go sending it off <laughs> all right on to another sprue we've got more floaty things savey lifey floaty things shooty things we've got masts walls or bulkheads I think they're called I'm not 100% sure I'm sure switcher will put me right in that one what are the little walls called switcher are they called bulkheads or are they called walls all right we have two screws left we've got our main deck which looks very very nice I mean the the detail in that is lovely really really is considering the scale I mean one 700 scale is a uh, it, it's 700 times smaller than the, the, the real thing 
So when it comes to small bits, like I mean that chain here, it's 700 times smaller than the real chain. So you can imagine the size of the bloody real one, huge. So anyway, parts look all nice, they look nicely moulded and nice indeed, very very nice. We've got the, uh, the deck detail, looks quite nice as well. No flash, no ejector pin marks and no big seam lines. We do have loads and tons of ejector pin marks down here on the bottom of it, but we're not going to see the bottom of it, so we don't give a damn about that. Sure we don't? No. We don't care about that. All we care about is what we can see, and what's that going to do to us? Right, and our final sprue is sprue F, the F sprue, and we've got some more of those little X. We've got um, some wall stroke, bulkhead stroke, um, hold the uppy parts, <laughs> hold the uppy parts for the decky parts. Okay, like I said, you're getting a definitely a good technically um, specific unboxing here from John. And uh, like I said, I don't know anything about ships and stuff like that, but all the ejector pin marks and all those kind of molding things are on the back we're not going to see them so it's not going to bother us so when it comes to condition of parts they're very very nicely done very very nice indeed uh, some nice quality stuff there i must admit um so i get started in that this evening because uh, i'm kind of waiting for paint to dry on um the uh the zvezda um, Terminator that I'm working on, which is coming along nicely. I'll give an update for that on Monday. I'll give a quick flash to it on my bum on Monday, and then I'll do a, a, a kind of a, a proper update on it after that. Um, I'll give a quick flash of what I've got done on this on the bum as well. I'm up, not expecting to get major amounts done, but I'm expecting to get a start of it anyway. Okay. Um, so that's my inbox review of the uh, Ravel. When the light decides to play ball, play ball, light. Well, let me just turn it off here. Watch it. It's going to go dark, but it's going to fix itself. There we go. Dark and fix yourself. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. No, it's not going to fix itself. Oh, there we are. Whoa. There we go. It's the Ravel Battleship Bismarck in one seven hundred scale okay and uh shall we say i'm going to enjoy that whether i get it right or not is another thing but i'll enjoy making it anyway okay lads we leave it at that don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed if you have subscribed thank you very very much i do appreciate it i really really do and uh don't forget go out and buy yourself a kit build it and enjoy building it it's a great great hobby it's there to have fun and uh, you know i'm having fun i definitely am as you can possibly tell by by the way i do my videos and things it's there to be enjoyed I, I i don't take it serious i'm not trying to be historically correct and perfect in every way i'm doing it to in, to, to have fun to enjoy myself and uh, in doing so I'm, uh, you know, hopefully passing on a few hints and tips to other people. And if not, then try to be entertaining anyway. So, this is John signing off, lads, and I'll catch you on Monday with the bum and uh, further updates. See you later, lads. Be soon. Be nice to each other and uh, stay safe. This is John signing off. <laughs>